Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. And today I've got these really cool air cushion nail pins and they are pigments, powdered pigments in a pen form from Madame Glam. Thank you so much for sending them to me. I do have my flash on, so sometimes it kind of goes in and out yellow, but that's just so you can see the different colors. And I will hopefully have enough natural light to show you the swatches all with some natural light. I'm really excited about these because I've tried a couple of cushion pens before and I didn't really like them. So let's go check these out. Now there are two hollows and the rest are all dual chromes or multi-chrome. I have some black swatch sticks already so I didn't have to waste any of my perfect black polish. All right, so we're starting out with bling bling. And this is uh, Madame Glam's No Wipe Top Coat. Now, all instructions, there's what it looks like inside the pen. All the instructions say cure 30 seconds and then apply. With hollows, I have never found that to be true. <laughs> they don't work that well. Um, I also do not like the sponges for hollows. I would rather use a brush. So also, we're going to see how this works. It might be just stuck in my brain, and that's why I couldn't get this to work. Um, so tap it on, not rub it with, with, the, with the hollows. And as I suspected, it won't really stick to it. It just rubs off. All right, so I'm going to scrap this, and we're going to try this with my method. I put no wipe top coat on. And then I, cure, I cure it for half time, like 10 to 15 seconds, not the full cure. Okay. And I also do not like these sponges or makeup sponges to do hollow. I just don't find that it works as well. It kind of dulls it. But we're going to try it. It is applying, but not very, not very well. So I'm going to take the brush that I like the best. You can use any smaller brush that's, you know, pretty kind of stiff. That's like solid packed. I believe this one, I don't know where I got this one. I'm pretty sure I probably got it from Lennon Wren. It's for powders and, but you can find makeup brushes that are fine for this. Just an eyeshadow brush. Still a hundred percent easier. Look at that. So much easier with a brush and still I like these because there's no mess. It's not covering my workstation. It's not floating in the air like a little tub would. I'm just going to um, polish that in with a brush and top coat it. Now, that was my mistake there at the tip. <clears throat> I just wasn't watching. Anyway, so perfect with a brush. Now let's try the gold. Maybe it's different. This is We Are Gold. Did I tell you the first one was bling bling? All right. This also, this is Lena, but I bought it from Leonard and Ren. It is a switch, bra a switch brush cleaner. And I think you can get like some type of these anywhere at any makeup store. Well, I don't even know if you can get them at Walmart, but it's just the sponge that cleans your brush. And there is, we are all gold. We are gold. We are golden. Sorry. Oh, these do not have the labels. Like I had to look them up. I spent like an hour and a half trying to match the colors to decide what color it was. And then it's like, duh, just run the barcode across in um, search in Madame Glam's site and find the name. So that's how I did it. All right. Again, I don't like the sponge for the hollows. It didn't do very well. 30 second cure and it, when you try to buff it, it just buffs off or it's streaky. 
So again, I'm going to do it with the brush. I mean, it's not like you've got to dig down in there or anything. And the little cushion thing, the or the, the pot that it's in, is on a spring. So when you put your cushion in, it taps it just the right amount every single time. So see, you can't dump it out. I'm brushing in there. It's not, it's not digging out. It's not loose. It's not dumping out. It's not spilling. I can hold it and just do it. Beautiful! Again, that was a 15 second cure. In fact, I may have pulled it out at like 13. Look how gorgeous. All right, the rest of these um, are dual chromes. So I do not expect that I'll have any issues with these. Um, I did the full 30 second cure again so we can see. And this one, <laughs> I labeled them as you can see. Um, I only had clear with, with the black ink on my label maker. So I had to put a piece of white paper behind it. And then I labeled my pins also because they're not labeled. That's kind of annoying, Madam Glam. I don't know why you did that, but okay. So this one is Morning Star. Oh, it's so pretty. It's um like a green to pink kind of shift. And it's like ghostly echoplasma. <laughs> How's that for a description? Look, no mess. No mess whatsoever on this paper towel. Uh, oh, I knocked it over. Ooh, that would be a disaster if these were in a pot. It would be everywhere. But it didn't go anywhere. All right, so I brush it off really well, get all the dust off before I top coat. And there was no issue whatsoever. 30 second cure with the no wipe and buff that right in with the sponge. The cushion, the air cushion. Love these. It's so nice. I mean, powders, I, I rarely use powders because they're such a mess. And this is Dirty Martini. And I hope that you can see, I think I have footage of like the reflection of both colors. I, it's hard to catch on the camera, but there you can kind of see it, it is a green to teal. I, I kind of really didn't think I was going to like this one. And um, it's one of my favorites. Glam Emerald. It has a purple green shift. Never judge anything until you top coat it either. Look at that purple green. Okay, Firethorn. I thought I was going to be disappointed. I didn't think that this one was going to be anything I really liked that much. <clears throat> Boy, was I wrong. I'm always wrong. How is that surprising? This has such a beautiful gold, kind of coppery to red shift. And the red is like, I don't know, frosty. And then it looks coppery. It's so pretty. Look at that. Ah, so pretty. I mean, these all have such a great shift and I'm sorry. I wish I had a decent camera. Um, so if you want to PayPal me some money or um, Venmo me some money, that'd be good too, whatever. So I can buy a really good camera. I'm joking. Do not send me money.
Ruby Sky, another gorgeous color. It shifts this beautiful red again and more of an orange copper. So pretty. Retrograde. I mean, I'm just going to say so pretty a lot here, okay? I am happy with every single one of these, you guys. So if chromes are your jam, if powders are your thing. Um, I didn't like Born Pretties, but I ordered five of those and I only got one. And it wasn't even the one I really wanted. And I didn't mess with it a lot because I just wasn't impressed. So maybe I need to revisit that to see if I was just not doing it correctly. But it was a chrome, so. Look at this one. It's got a green, purple. It's got several shifts. It's more of a multi-chrome. It's kind of pink. I love this one, too. These are made with... Uh, Fiberglass wool, okay. They are vegan, hema free, nine three, nine free, you know, gluten free, carb free. That one is green and brown and gold and pink. That one's like all of it. Dancing Queen. This is gorgeous. It is purple. Um, but it's also pink. This one I had the most trouble showing like the shift in. Oh, I should have matted these. These would be so pretty matte too. Maybe I should do that on just a wheel so that you can see the matte. Okay, these swatch sticks are kind of hard to get the tip of because there's like a little lip there at the end of them. Anyway, you can see how pretty this is. There you can kind of see the pink, purple, darker purple shift. And then it has just a tiny bit of blue too. Yeah, I think you can see all the shifts in all of these. And when you put that top coat on, they're just like three-dimensional. So pretty. So pretty, so pretty. Shut up, Kylie. All right. Below zero. Look at that. Look at it. <laughs> it was like an electric blue. This one I didn't seem to feel like it had much of a dual chrome shift. It does a little bit, but mostly it's just a beautiful electric blue. But there is, oh, flash, Let's see, there is below zero. But I'm afraid some people might struggle with the hollows. And if you have before, now you know why. Well, if you listen to the video. If you didn't listen to the video, then you probably still don't know why. And you'll be asking me down below. All right, I'll try to do this quickly. We're going to see how to use these powders to stamp with. All right, so I do have a perfect black on my nails. All right, so I did use a, a no wipe top coat. But it's been um, like a day since I painted them. So I'm not real worried about that sticking to this. Um, but I am going to go ahead and wipe it with alcohol to make sure that the powders aren't going to stick to the rest of the nail. Then grab you a stamper. And I know some of you don't have multiple stampers. But if you have one that's a little older then I recommend using that because if you use powders very much to stamp with like this, you are going to end up with a stamper that's cloudy. So if you don't have one now, um, just, just keep trying. It'll happen. This time we're going to use Ruby Red.
below zero in Glam Emerald. This time I won't pause and then miss it. Now we're going to try the hollow. Let's just put the silver on this one. And then you know white top coat, of course. And I managed to not get it all wiped off there on the sides a little bit. <laughs> That's all right. I really like that that firestorm stamped. So pretty. All of it's very pretty. Uh, you absolutely can do this with just regular polish. Uh, put a black on. Top coat it. Let it dry completely, make sure it's not tacky, and then just fall along. <laughs> you can do that with, um, the hollows are gonna be much more picky about regular polish going on those, but you shouldn't really have any problem with the, with the dual chrome powders. Um, but I also recommend that you can absolutely just apply it like this. So with the stamper, ooh, there, here, there, how's that for you guys that are watching me on a regular big giant screen TV? Woo. <laughs> All right, I'll stop being a smart ass. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Uh, I have a lot coming up if I can get time to do it all. I have Madam Glam magnetic polishes. I have Born Pretty magnetic polishes. I, of course, have the Mini Me box and one to give away. What else? Oh, I've got a PPU. Um, lots of fun stuff. I've got tons of stuff. I just need to get, do it. Just do it. Bye. All right, excuse, I, it's a really bad job because I just slept it on as fast as I could. Um, the hollow's not so great, Matt. But, oh, you guys, I really, really love the rest of the matte. They're very pretty. All right, those last two here are actually, um, oh, New York Never Sleeps and Stars from Madam Glam. I don't think those two are available anymore. I just wanted to see what they look like too. But look at those. Really pretty matte. I love this. This one is so pretty. All right, I'm done again, I think. Bye. Oh, no. All right, so you're not going to get it. Better stand back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
thing. <laughs> boogie boogie boo. 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 Boogie boogie boo.